<laughs> no, no, it's just uh, no, no, it's just one of those days where everything goes right. So uh, happy to help the team out. So just really chuffed. Yeah, I think we obviously had a, a good few days training. We had a training camp before the start of the BPL, but I think just the morale is really good, and we've had. Uh, Overseas and local guys stand up in each game, and I think that's the difference in, in a short format like this. If you have guys in form and standing up and, and playing match-winning knocks, you know it, it's, it's really easy to get on a momentum roll, and then it's it's up to everyone else to chip in, and, and everyone else has done really well. So I think it's been a massive team performance throughout. You know we have guys taking wickets, guys batting really nicely. So it's been a it's been a nice change, and it's been good for us. Yeah, but, uh, as an Ireland player, it's very rare for playing franchise T20. And here you come and bowling, batting, both were incredible. And how is the adaptation process for you playing in Bangladesh condition, both as a bowler and batsman? Yeah, I think obviously I'm very fortunate that we've we've been here uh, last summer and we and we played a, a long tour here. And I was in BPL last last year too. So I think you know taking back those experiences and understanding what wickets you're playing on, you know, going from Dhaka to here, you know, it's a, it's a lot better of a wicket and it's nice pace and bounce and nice carry. So. Um, yeah, we've actually, it's, I think maybe just a little bit more experience and learning and not trying too hard. Um, you know, a few guys have gone away and played franchise leagues now, so as a team I feel like we're in, in an upward trajectory and, and going nicely, so you know, it's nice to go away, learn and, and challenge a game and, and grow in a, in a different environment. Can you tell us how do you see the betting of Shadows and Deepu? He just started BPL this season. Yeah, deepu has been, in, he's uh, kind of come on like a house on fire. He's been really good for us uh, batting at four. Um, nice to see youngsters uh, putting their hand up and doing really nicely, you know. Um, I, th I think he's have a, he'll have a long future if he keeps his form going. Um, nice to see him just being a great temperament. Um, kind of, it's almost like he knows where the bowlers are going to bowl and he's hitting some lovely shots. So hopefully he can just continue for, for the rest of the BPL and, and we'll see hopefully what his journey goes on for. And you've got some big names coming up, like Brown and Phil Salt and all the things. How do you see this? They're coming up and what will be their role in this team? The team that is performing now? Yeah, obviously I think it's nice for them to come into a team that's doing nicely. You know, you can take that, that momentum from, from everyone else and they can feed off it, not to feel pressure that they have to perform straight away. Um, you know, it's nice to have great big names come um, and hopefully they can put in some great performances for us. Anyone? Uh, still uh, tell us about the big uh, If there is any comparison between the Mirpur and Silly Cricket, so how do you play it? Yeah, I think I think today's wicket was really good. I think if you score every any time you score 194, it's going to be a nice wicket. Um, and it was you know coming within 10 runs of of, of chasing down. Um, I think the, the the cutters kind of held a little bit, but if you missed, you know you're still able to be punished. So I think it was actually just a, a fair wicket. You know it was enough in it for the bowlers up top with a little bit of swing and a little bit of nip, and then a little bit of spin too. And then if you got in as a batter, you could cash in. So I think a pretty pretty really good wicket to be honest. Uh, you were here for, for the last BPL and then, then, then a group for, for the national teams in, in all three formats. How does it help you to uh, grow as a player in, uh, playing Bangladesh uh, such, for such a long time? Yeah, obviously it's really good you know, to, to get the amount of games. Yeah, I think I've probably played about 25 games in, in Bangladesh now, you know, so it's really cool to be growing myself, you know, going outside my comfort zone, traveling around Bangladesh. You know, it's a country that, that actually I can almost call my second home because I spend more time here than I do anywhere else. Um, but yeah, it's really good and you know, the culture here, the, the passion of loving cricket um, and growing my game is just a, a nice challenge I'm learning. I mean not only about the cricket field, the culture and the people and everything, how, how, does, how does it feel? Yeah, it's really good. I think it's really different to Ireland, where Ireland, you know, it's a second string sport and if you walk around, no one really notices you. So uh, when you're here, you know, there's a lot of fans and they, they love to support their teams. Uh, um, so you just got to keep winning and keep them happy. Is there any incident about uh, with any fan who want to take a selfie? Yeah, of course I want to take selfies. They're a bit far now, but you know it's nice to nice to get around. You know, it's nice to kind of give back and, and kind of show some support to them too. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.